Hey there fellow developers, welcome to my channel again. Today I'm going to talk about a topic that every developer can relate to. Imagine you're making some changes rapidly and you've been asked to commit something quickly and you realize that in a last commit you just made a mistake. It was a blunder need to roll something back. This is a scenario that every developer happens to see in their day to day life and they often try and either override the changes or go and look at every single file. Trust me, that's a bad idea. You want to roll back a changes and you would want to see how it is done. But fear not, I have this solution for you and I'll walk you through step by step guide and I'll give you two options on how to make those changes. So let's roll up our sleeve and you do want to stick to the end to see the solution. So I have my terminal open and if you have a git project that you want to try this on you can do a git clone and uh, provide your git url for me since i've already cloned my project so i'm not going to go through this process again but uh, here are here's my sim uh, uh, sample code uh, it has just it's a simple maven java project has some default file that i was trying around earlier and let's say i i want to make a change i want to introduce a new field let's introduce a new field called string uh, I would roll back. Let's say I introduce this particular field and now I can go and check my git status. It'll tell me that this file is not added yet. Git status. And it tells me that this, this file is not, uh, it's not stage for commit yet. So let's go ahead and add this. Git add. I'm going to do star.java so that it automatically picks up the file. Let's check the status again and now you'll see that this is stage for commit. So you see this in green that is, this is re ready for the changes now. And now I'm going to make, uh, go and do a git commit. I need a soft rollback. So I'm going to add this commit message and put it in here. Now. When you do a git commit, you have two options. One is that you want to make a change. You, you just made a change, you committed the code, but now you need to roll back. You don't want to remove all the changes which you have done. You still want to see the file that you have been working on and you still want some of your changes added. there. So imagine that this was the only line which had a mistake and you added all of these, these lines, which is correct code. You just want to make an edit to this. So now what would you do? So in that case, you would use something called git reset soft. So we're going to use that command and see how that works. So let's check first git status. It should not have anything in there. So it says all the files are up to date. And now we're going to do a git log and see that this commit is showing up. I'm going to use one line, not the uh, default git so that it's easier to read. So I, I just added the message. I need a soft rollback. Okay. I'm going to exit this, clear the screen. Now the command that you're going to use is called git reset. And now you need to provide how many commits you want to go back to. So for me, I need to go back to one commit. So I'm going to use git head and I'll provide git reset head one. But I talked about soft and hard. So let's use soft. And now what this is going to do is it is going to uncommit my change, but is still going to keep the changes in the file and is going to keep it as unstate changes. So if I do this now, let's go ahead and check the git status. And you would see that this file has been unstaged. The changes are still there though. Okay. So now let's go ahead and check the git log so we'll go back and check git log and you will see that it is uh, that that message was gone i had put in as i need to roll back this change these are my from my older commit so ignore these but uh, you'd see that that commit message is now gone okay so now i'm going to recommit these changes i'm going to again add these changes in there so git star.java and now i can see that the changes have been added and now I'm going to commit this message. Git commit minus M. I'll do final commit with 
new changes and I can now go and check my git log and you will see final commit with new changes okay now let's go ahead and make one more change in there and we'll learn about the hard record okay so I'm going to introduce one more string called git I would need hard rollback right so I made the changes I am again going to check the git status you will see that this file is right now unstaged so let's stage this file again git add star dot java and I can check this file is now staged let's commit this file git commit minus m let's give some meaningful message I need to do a hard rollback on this file All right let's go and check the git log so that this message is still showing up git one line and I can see that this message is there I need to do a hard rollback now what is a hard rollback so sometime in such a way that you want to roll back all of the changes and you want the original state of your file before you start making changes so in a sense I want that this file to be this change to be rolled back and it should return back to its original state so procedure is same I am again going to use git reset I'll clear the screen but instead of using soft this time I'm going to use hard and I need to roll back by one commit so let's do that so I'm going to provide git head one and as soon as I do this you will see that this this particular line that I added over here line number 12 will be gone and the changes in the log would also be rolled back and they will nothing be there in the unstaged commits as well so let's try that so you will see that line went away let's go and check the git status to see if something is there as an unstaged commit so there's nothing in there and now let's go back and check the uh, git log as well so I'll do git log one line and you would see that change is now gone so this is how you do you use a git reset for a soft or a hard rollback now before you hit those keys remember to double check commits cannot be done if they are pushed to a shared repository and as always it is a great practice to create a backup branch before you start wielding those commands all right but that's not all what if you want to preserve the changes from the undone commit but not commit them right away that's where a git stash command come in as your trusty companion and here's how to temporarily set things aside right let's look at that let's understand the scenario when you would need a git stash while doing a soft reset so let's go ahead and make some more changes here let's introduce a new integer uh, say amount All right and we're going to follow the same procedure of first committing the changes and then doing a soft reset so let's do a git add star.java we want to check the status stage and let's do a git commit for this one git commit minus m need to roll back softly and stash demo okay so at this point everything looks good I am going to check the status nothing should be in there nothing is in there I am going to check the git um, log so I see my me message need to roll back softly and stash demo and now what we're going to do is we want to roll back softly so that these changes are still there so we're going to do a git reset soft head head one so my changes are back 
the line still says git init amount so it means it's still there i'm going to check this status so it says uh, this is a particular file which has been modified and this is a change that needs to be committed back again all right but now i want to i I don't want to see the changes right right away because I have some more uh, changes which I need to apply and I want to remove these changes not permanently like we did with a git hard git reset hard but what I want to do is I want to remove these changes which I have made but keep it somewhere so that I can later apply them so in that case you are going to use git stash so let's use a git stash all right so it says that my last final commit new changes this was the last one that it has stashed and you would see that particular thing is gone so now what i'm going to do is let's make a small change over here i'm going to call this as um, let's just add a simple space here all right let's check the git status again so now it says that uh, the i have some uncommitted changes all right and now I want to put my changes back again, which I which I, I had it in the stash, right? So if I go and check my git stash uh, stash list, I should be able to see my stash there. So you see my, my changes are there. And now I'm going to pop the first uh, stash that I had created, which is which is over here. You, you are seeing two lines because I, I tried this earlier to uh, show in the demo. So just ignore that. But what I want to do, I just want to pop the first one and apply the changes back. So I'm going to do that. Git stash pop. And you would see that my, oh, sorry. I have some changes in there. So I'm going to make the changes back there because I added uh, spaces here, right? So let me just go ahead and add the changes here. Git add star.java. So I did that and now I can do a git stash pop and you would see that this git private int amount is back again. Now if you were going to be making changes on the same line, you would see that um, there is a conflict and you would need to resolve the conflict but since I made changes on a different line and then later applied the pop up. Uh, I didn't see any conflicts over here. So now I can go ahead and do uh, git status again to make sure everything looks good. Okay, so I'm going to do git star dot java again. Check status one more time. Everything looks good. Now I'm going to do git commit minus m. Another round of final commits done right and now if i go in there in the log and i would see what has happened so far i would see that another round of final commit is done this was our last message which we use for final commit so that's in there but the previous commit which we made where we stash the changes and and did everything is now looks good and i'm good to go so remember, Git is a powerful tool and these commands should be handled with care. Always have a backup, especially when dealing with the critical code. Okay, so there you have it. The art of undoing recent local commits in Git. Now you are armed with the knowledge to backtrack, adjust and keep your version control history tidy. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And as always, keep coding, keep learning. And until next time, happy coding.